So welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to continue the project uh, by adding Vue.js first and then we are going to use MongoDB as our database. So let's uh, first of all let's uh, commit everything as bootstrap Okay, now let's add Vue.js to our project. To do that, I go to WM root and pick this lib folder, add client side library. And this time, let's search for Vue. And the, the latest version is 3, but we're going to use 2 because the version 3 is uh, just not... Um, production ready yet and as you see there's RC and other ones let's just pick the last version of 2 and add it to view and I'm waiting for restore operation to be finished and, and now we have Vue.js and let's add it to our project next we need to use assign render section and i call it a scripts and it is not required i would set equal to false but we have only one page in our application uh, and um, we don't really need this but it's always good to have it in, in other projects that you make with more pages and more stuff and let's go to this part add the razor a section here add sign section a scripts and that's it. Now, any code that you write in this part will appear in your layout in this section. And uh, this is good because uh, with this uh, section being under the scripts and uh, other sites like jQuery, Bootstrap, and Vue, you can make sure that. Um, your script is running after necessary libraries are loaded so let's save everything and let's see if we have our view working so I create a, a new app and use view and in here I am going to set element use app also I am going to set data and set message to hello from view and that's it for now and let's add a new Div here and I did as app and now let's use message here. I'm going to refresh the page and start the application, refresh the page and see if it's working. So our application is up and running and as you can see the message is showing up in here. If I go to view resources, you can see that uh, our message in the background is replaced with this message that we put in data. And it just shows that the view library is working and this is uh, good. So let's go on and uh, add more stuff to our project. So let's go to layout and just set this class to container 
so everything would be much more neat and uh, this, uh, there's a edge here and that's just making it a more comforting and um, easier for eyes to see and so let's go on and see what we can do next now let's commit everything and wait for it to finish our next part would be to add a web api uh, and it's going to be um, and an action let's go and add a folder called controllers we can name it different things we can name it api or what but i think controllers is the um, much better choice and let's go to add controller for some reason in my video studio i can get this working but i can always go to new item and choose mvc controller empty or api controller empty and this would be enough for our project let's add it um, i forgot to change the name but you can always do it here and let's change it to book controller and uh, so we are using controller base it is a much simpler base class um, that rather than just using controller controller has a lot more stuff because we are dealing with views page and rendering html and, and other other stuff but controller base is basically used for apis where you want to use rest and uh, send back just a simple uh, json data and not going to use any views or pays or uh, things like that so let's add an action public i action result and call it kit return ok and um, to begin with we are going to send back a list of books and we are not going to use databases just for now but let's add our model add new folder models and add class and let's call it book our book models would have um, a string a name and an int for publish year let's just call it year for now and a property as int for price that's enough for our demo project you can always come back and add more fields uh, but um, we are just going to uh, create CRUD for this so more fields means more work and that's all just the same I mean, adding any, any more fields just is the same as adding a new name or year or price so it's just repeat the work uh, I, I recommend you to start with uh, simple models with one two three fields and create the background work uh, the crowd work uh, um, listing the data changing it create, editing it and everything then come back and add more fields don't create a model with 20 fields and uh, then go to create a uh, create form, edit form, delete form. It just makes everything more complicated. I start with simple models and add stuff to it later on. After you 
and make sure that your crowd uh, operations are working and there are no problems. So go to book controller and uh, let's create a book list a new list of book and let's add items to this tree would be enough and new book the name will be there c sharp the year would be 2000 for the sake of argument let's put it 70 and now let's send it back and uh, using uh, this book list here now let's run the application and see if our book controller api is working to do that i'm just going to use a browser here but there are other tools like fiddler insomnia or um, different tools that we can go through later let's go to api book and enter and you can see that we have an HTTP of 404 even though this is the route we are using the problem is that we need to add services for controllers and let's add services and add uh, controllers with uh, controllers and not the controllers with views because we are not having views in this part and also let's go to in endpoints and map controllers um, then save everything and start the project again and see if uh, it's working this time let's go to this local host book api book and now we can see the data as you can see they are in json format i'm using json view um it's uh, it's a very uh, simple extension for chrome and chromium or in the new version of edge uh, there are also uh, other tools available for firefox um, it just makes the uh, view of JSON um, prettier, but you can always turn it off. Uh, and there are, tools, there are ways to turn it off, but um, it's better to see the JSON data in this way for the most part. So, um, to continue with our project, the next thing I want to do is to show this data in our index page in here and I'm going to use Vue.js and Ajax uh, to call this data from backend and show it in frontend. 